Hello and welcome to a video on study skills. I thought I would do this first video on the concept of mindset. Mindset was an idea that was introduced uh, by Carol Dweck, who is on faculty at Stanford. Uh, so Carol Dweck is, is a professor there. and She's done a lot of really great work on understanding human motivation and on understanding uh, human ability and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and one of her, her biggest contributions to the field is this notion of mindset. And what, what Carol Dweck basically observed is that uh, people can be placed on a continuum based on how they perceive or what they perceive uh, to be the source of their ability. Okay, and on one end of this continuum, you have people with a fixed mindset, uh, so fixed mindset people. And fixed mindset people basically believe that uh, success is based on some type of innate ability. Uh, they have what's called a fixed theory of intelligence. Uh, at the other end of this continuum, you have people with a growth mindset. And people with a growth mindset tend to believe that success is based on effort. Uh, and this is also known as the growth or incremental theory of intelligence, so incremental theory of intelligence. And um, people who have a growth mindset tend to you know, work harder, and, and people who have a fixed mindset might say, you know what, I, I, I can't do something, so I'm not even going to try. I think everything is based on innate ability. Uh, and ultimately, even though um, people, so one thing is with, with mindset is that people may have different mindsets oriented towards uh, different activities. So maybe somebody will have a fixed mindset towards athletic activities like sports, but have a growth mindset towards academic endeavors. Uh, so for example, they may believe that you know being able to be good at basketball or baseball is purely an innate talent. If they can't do it, uh, they'll give up. Whereas they, that same person might believe that being good at math just requires more effort. Uh, and so even our mindsets can be different based on the actual scenario we're in. And, and, and for some people, um, they may not even be aware of what their own mindset is uh, towards a given topic, but the key uh, telltale sign around someone's mindset is their reaction to failure in that arena. So, for example, um, people who have a, uh, a growth mindset, or rather a fixed mindset, think of um, failure as a bad thing. They don't like failure. It, it's a shortcoming of their abilities. Um, they just don't react well to it. If they fail at something, they give up. You know, they, these people basically just give up. People with a growth mindset, they don't actually mind failure as much. I mean, they think of it as something that can be worked past. You know, they, to them, failure is kind of part of the game, and you know, if you can work past your failures, you can you can become better at things. Okay, so they don't mind failure as much because they realize their performance can be improved. Now, I think this is very relevant to learning, and, and actually, Carol Dweck showed this in a number of our subsequent studies. But already, you know, when you look at the description I've given, the reason it's relevant to learning, in my opinion, is that um, people, you know, when you learn, you're basically introduced to new areas, new scenarios. These are scenarios that might push past your comfort zone. They might challenge you initially. I mean, not everybody, you know, can jump on a bicycle and be able to ride it right away. Most people fail at that. Uh, so we're always encountering new situations where we're learning, which means that we're being introduced to new scenarios and being pushed out of our comfort zones. People who have a growth mindset are going to be more likely to persist in the presence of failures, and ultimately that that persistence will lead them to get past those failures, to learn more effectively, to pick up that new skill and do well at it. On the other hand, people with a fixed mindset, they're going to basically kind of give up if, if they are not able to uh, to get past certain failures. And maybe they'll give up too easily, or it'll just um, it'll take them a lot longer to do something because they're not willing to embrace that failure as a part or as a natural part of the learning process. And everything we do in life, everything we learn, at some point when it's new to us, it is more challenging. I mean, there was a time when you would have trouble walking, and, and now you wouldn't think of walking as something that's difficult to do. Um, people, when they learn to read, and you'll see this with children, I mean, it's very difficult for children to learn to read initially, uh, but now as adults, you, you can read almost effortlessly. It's, it's almost amazing how, how effortless uh, certain acts are that were very difficult at one point. Uh, driving a car is another example of that. So over time, you know, we do get better at things that were initially challenging to us. Okay, so as you might expect, um, people with growth mindsets, you would expect them to have better grades, to do better in school, to learn more effectively. Uh, and in fact, this was confirmed in a number of studies that Carol Dweck conducted. And in, in one of her studies, um, you know, she just figured out what people's mindsets were through questionnaires and through observing them and, and so on and so forth, and then looked at the grades that they had over the course of some period of time. And what she found was this, this very strong correlation between people who had a growth mindset and people who had good grades. Uh, so that's actually, you know, it's a nice study and was, it kind of confirmed our intuition about what mindset might lead to. But there was another follow-on study that she conducted, which I think is even more profound in terms of the impact that mindset plays. And so uh, in, 
this follow-on study, what she basically demonstrated, what Carol Dweck basically demonstrated was that people could have a growth mindset about their mindset. In other words, um, she showed that people could be given, could be imparted with a particular mindset, that your mindset about your mindset wasn't fixed. Okay, so in this follow-on study, what Carol Dweck did was as follows. She actually took students and she divided them up into two groups. So I've kind of drawn out uh, two groups right here. Uh, so we'll call them uh, it's, uh, group one. Group one and group two. And this was done randomly. And group one, um, were, the students in group one are basically given a course in, in study skills. They were taught, you know, kind of how to study effectively and, and, and uh, you know, things of that nature. And the students in group two were actually taught about the brain. They were taught about how the brain works. Uh, and they were taught, for example, that, you know, as you learn, your neurons, uh, you know, create more connections, they fire in certain ways. And that, you know, over time, the brain actually forms new connections every time you learn something new. And that, that after a while, this actually makes you smarter. Uh, and this was this is actually consistent with what neuroscience tells us about, about the brain. And so effectively, the students were given a, a mini neuroscience course on how the brain works. They were uh, taught how to think about their neurons. And as a result, I think they visualized that as they learned something new, their neurons were forming new connections. As they studied and as they worked hard, they could visualize that their brain was growing. It was getting bigger because of uh, I guess this, this density of neural connections that were being, they were being made. So the, the brain was getting stronger and, and, and more uh, powerful every time they learned something new. Okay, now at the end of the semester, um, the group of kids who had been taught that the brain can grow smarter, it can grow bigger and stronger, had significantly better grades in math than the students who, who weren't taught that. Now, what's, what's I think remarkable is these students were divided up randomly. This was, the selection was not based on their initial mindset. They were just basically divided up into two random groups. But the group that had training about mindset that was taught that um, their brain could grow, that group actually performed better, regardless of what their initial mindset was. And so they were able to kind of overcome any limitations they might have had about their own mindset. And I've actually found this to be true in life in general. People who I've seen, you know, and I've seen this in, in different areas, whether it's chess or, or math or, or just school in general, um, you know, all over the world, um, people who um, ultimately become really great at things typically don't um, rely that much on any ability. I mean, we, we do see people when we're young who seem to have some type of uh, preternatural ability, this amazing ability to do really well at things, and it, it seems like it's almost effortless for them. But what I've found is that over time, the people who become really good at a particular topic area, a particular subject matter, do so by basically working towards it. They've, I've never actually seen somebody become really great at, at any particular field without putting in the time that was required. And so as a result, I've noticed people who have done really well in fields over the long run have been, anecdotally, have been people with growth mindsets. And I think that's been borne out in the research that Carol Dweck and others have done, uh, which I think is very, very powerful. And so ultimately, our mindset can influence our grades and our ability to learn in a very positive way. And given that we can influence our mindset, to me that means influencing our mindset is a great way to start on the path uh, towards effective learning. So if, if, you know, one of the most important things you can take out of this series, it would be that try to adopt a growth mindset and you can adopt a growth mindset because your mindset's not fixed about your mindset. Uh, and realize that that's in, in many ways one of the foundational pillars of becoming a really effective learner. Hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to making more for you. Thanks a lot.